This really impacted me, and I was just stunned at the end of this conversation. A man that I have known for 20 years that makes no profession of faith, has no allegiance to any denomination. He works with an organization, he's the head of it, and he pays for kids in this area that have come from broken homes. He pays for them to go to counseling and to get a hot meal and clothes. And I said, why do you do this? What's your motivation? I've known him for 20 years. He said, I was a 20 year old and I was over in, in India, in Calcutta. I was on drugs, alcohol. He said, one night in India, he said, I was beaten, stripped, robbed, and left in a ditch. Does that remind you of a story? He said, I laid there till morning, injured. He said, across the street, sitting in a diner, a man noticed me. He said, come with me. And he took me to meet someone. Mother Teresa. I said, you don't mean the Mother Teresa, do you? He said, yes, the Mother Teresa. She gave me clothes, she gave me food. And he said, I worked with her in the streets of Calcutta for three years. He came back to the United States and that so impacted his life for the rest of his life. He does this sort of thing. I was ashamed of myself after hearing that story. We need to act. I thought of Jesus of Nazareth. I thought, what did he do? He fed them. He clothed them. He healed them. Doubt to hope to certainty. You run into people that need things. How about emotional support? How about just listening to somebody? How about just taking the time? They may not believe what you say, but they will certainly take notice of what we do, and that is how they're going to know the Spirit is in us, and we are in the Spirit. Look, I'm coming quickly. You keep the words of this book.